for now, let's uh, speak with Mayor John Norman. So, Mayor Norman, we just heard from a bunch of people who have chosen Bonavista to launch their business. How does that make you feel when you hear all those stories? Well, of course, I grew up here. Um, I was a child during the moratorium, and I grew up uh, in a town that felt like it was dying. So to see and help support a lot of these entrepreneurs uh, come to Bonavista, launch their businesses, expand their businesses, it's very, very positive. Mm -hmm. And you're in politics. You obviously have a vision for Bonavista. Why, why did you want to get into politics and, and, to, <laughs> and to try to help your town? Want to get into politics? <laughs> I had to get into politics. And why did you have to get into politics? Uh, I felt... Um, Right from the point when I moved back to Bonavista after university, 13 years ago now, there was just so much potential here. And I wanted to have a role, mm -hmm. not necessarily a leadership role, but a role at the time to uh, reinvigorate the community. And I started and uh, started a small company. It got bigger. We got investors. And we've done a fair bit of work in the community now. And uh, the work at the town hall is the same. I started as a town councilor uh, with not the intention to be mayor. And here we are. <laughs> So much change, such a vibrant community. Mm -hmm. How how did you go about, you know, making that kind of vision a reality with the people who live here and to convince people to invest in Bonavista? Uh, that, that took time. That was a lot of work. And uh, the first investments were mine. Uh, mm -hmm. When we uh, moved back here, uh, we started by purchasing a few properties, uh, fixing a couple of properties up, and uh, the hope of starting a small company. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, investors came on side, and uh, multiple investors, and uh, we've got a fairly sizable company now. And we work uh, with a lot of young entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. helping them uh, enhance and launch their businesses. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all very encouraging. Yeah, so many entrepreneurs here, so many interesting businesses. What is it about Bonavista you think that draws people here? I think it's the authenticity to place. And I don't want to go off on an academic tangent, but uh, I really feel the trend of belonging of especially younger people, and I'm sure a lot of the entrepreneurs you've seen today, mm -hmm. It's interesting to see this is not only a lot of entrepreneurship in a rural area, but a lot of younger entrepreneurs moving to a rural area, a bit unusual. And they want to be connected to a place. And there's a real sense of community here. There's a real positive vibe. And there are so many challenges in the world today. Who doesn't want a bit of positivity and be a part of something great happening in the province? Mm -hmm. So. And also the fishery, uh, that's still something that, that's happening here. We were down on the wharf today, so many, uh, so much activity mm -hmm. happening down there. How important is that industry to Bonavista? Well, the fishery is why Bonavista exists. Uh, it's the reason why it was settled in the 1600s. It's the reason why most people are here today. And it has a great overlay with the tourism and culture and heritage industries, the arts industries that are developing here. It's the reason why we're here. It's the reason we are who we are. And we understand our history. And uh, that helps us on many, many levels. And there are so many tie-overs from one sector to another. Who would have dreamt that uh, even five years ago, you would have a salt manufacturer on Main Street mm -hmm. shipping internationally? or a kombucha or a chocolatiers and the list goes on and on. Tourism is a great added sector to the region, but we're a rural town that now exports goods around the planet. And that's that's really exciting. And uh, that all started with the fishery. This was an export center. We were shipping out salt cod hundreds of years ago. Now we ship out crab and we ship out salt and a few other things. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were down on the wharf today speaking with some folks who work in the fishing industry and, and lots of people down there, multi-generations of people who work in that industry. And we'll talk more about how the fishery is still the backbone of Bonavista that's coming up.